Center has told the Supreme Court that the Health Ministry and the Indian Council of Medical Research, that's the ICMR, have come out with guidelines for issuing official documents for COVID-related deaths. Now, this comes days after the Supreme Court had wrapped the center over the delay in issuing guidelines for issuing of the COVID death certificates. Let's go across to Sukirti now for more on this. And Sukirti, this is a very, very important uh, issue. And uh, finally, guidelines are being uh, you know put out by the government on this because there's so many families all over the country who need uh, to have, you know, this death certificate. Uh, well, absolutely. This is a very crucial decision coming uh, from the center's end, uh, especially because in a lot of states or even uh, at the center, center's level, if there's any kind of compensation that is meant to be given to COVID victims, then there is a certain level of documentation that would end up being required. And these guidelines are going to play a key role in serving that purpose. Um, so just a few days ago, the Supreme Court had wrapped the center over the delay uh, that was going on in issuing the guidelines. And the Supreme Court had categorically told uh, the center that if this is the kind of delay that goes on, by the time you make the guidelines, even the third wave will be over. And the center had been given time till September 11 to come up with the guidelines. And uh, right before the deadline was to pass, the Supreme Court, uh, in the Supreme Court, the center has submitted its affidavit. The key part of these guidelines is regarding the timeline that has been uh, posed by the center, that has been proposed by the center in these guidelines by saying that if the death takes place within 30 days of testing COVID positive, whether it is in a hospital or an inpatient facility, or if even if it happens outside the hospital, then it will be considered a COVID-19 death. So that's within 30 days. However, if the death takes place post 30 days of testing positive, then if it is in a hospital or an inpatient facility only, then it will be considered as a COVID-19 death. If the person was admitted as a, a COVID-19 issue and can, uh, continue to suffer from post-COVID complica post complications, so if all they have all of those medical documents, then it will be considered as a COVID-19 death. Uh, in the exceptional circumstances, uh, that if there are issues and the re relatives of the disease are not satisfied uh, with these uh, medical certificate issues, in that case, at the district level, a special committee of medical as well as uh, local administration experts can be set up and those disputes can be resolved over there. Uh, so a big decision and uh, likely to go a long way in case of uh, any compensation that uh, gets announced in the future as well uh, for COVID victims. All right, uh, Sukirti, thanks so much for joining us with those details. So very important announcement there.